So what we have here is the BBS HD Bafang motor in this uh, white label bike. There's a few different companies out there that sell it as it's equipped. I'll just give you a few of my first impressions. A couple of cool features is it does come with a spring ride front adjustable shock. It's an RST guide. I haven't been able to find any good information about that yet. Uh, but you can lock out the shock or pre-tension or preload the shock depending on where and how you're going to be riding. You've got to play around and adjust that considerably. It was very bouncy on the few miles that I've taken it so far. Um, it does come with these press-on rubberized grips uh, that I absolutely can't stand. They're going to be coming off real fast. Um, then you have your dual trigger shifting gear. Uh, it's not bad. It's a Shimano shifter. It seems pretty accurate. It shifts in during pedaling. Under load, there's some clunking. Uh, there is a shift sensor built into this, even though I can't, couldn't see documentation that it came with one. There is definitely a shift sensor there. So it doesn't feel like it's functioning. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more exploration as to what that was. Uh, you can see the housing, the very unique housing for the BB8, BBS HD motor. Um, I like that. I like how protected it is. I'm not sure about temperature and whether it will allow it to cool out. It is to very warm to the touch. So overheating in this is a concern. Uh, the bike just came in this morning. I did assemble it this afternoon. Uh, and these two little grommets, uh, one was cut and actually laying in the bottom of the box. I've kind of put it back in place to try and protect these wires, but I may have to do something different there, a little extra tape, and try and get that grommet back in there right. Um, and then the other concern I have is these wires coming out of the bottom of the frame going into the bottom of the motor. Uh, they seem to be bundled pretty tight. There's not a lot of play, you know, but the wrong move, especially when you're on a trail or just off of light gravel because I wouldn't really call this a trail bike uh, and those wires get clipped pretty easily so I'm going to be looking into protection for those. Um, it does have the standard chain ring going back to your Shimano Altus 7 speed gear selector. It does come with the uh, derailleur guard which is nice. These metal fenders, heard a lot about these. They are the rattliest, noisiest things. Lots of adjustments needed, and I'm gonna spend a ton of time playing to try and make those uh, okay. Don't love them. The seat is junk. <laughs> I'm sorry, Velo plush. There's a little bit of padding. Maybe it's okay for short distances, but man, it is not what I'm used to. So that will be coming out. Fortunately, it looks like it's an easy swap. Um, pretty standard under there as far as seat mount goes. Uh, I my own lock. Uh, the battery is solid. You know, 48 volt. I think it was what 15.6 watt hours, something like that. It seems to hold up pretty good. I've only put about five or six miles on the bike so far. There is a a gauge along down to half. So there's four lights. I've only got two left. Uh, five, five to six miles. I have been using it a little bit hard, but it's not bad. Um, the trigger shift or the trigger throttle is on the left hand side. That's taken some getting used to, but five minutes on the bike, it's really no big deal. Uh, especially with the shifter allowing you to use this, uh, this upgraded or better shifter on the other side. Uh, some other e-bikes that I rode that have the less expensive uh, trigger shifter on the left and the throttle, or on the right and the throttle on the right, it's not a good trade-off. Um, and then finally I come to these brakes. 
you know, this is, these brakes were a cost cutting measure. Absolutely the cheapest things you could put on there. Uh, I have not been able to get them to stop squealing. Uh, I rode the front brakes hard trying to get that pad to seat and just to, to stop. I've adjusted it seven ways from Sunday and uh, the, <laughs> the squeal just never gives up. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it looks like there's a couple easy upgrade paths to put some slightly better brakes on there. Uh, the handlebars, the stem, I, I, this is all, I like it all. Um, it feels good. It feels, uh, I, I was able to tighten everything up, snug it up, and get it nice and solid. Um, it is a little weird for assembly because it comes in backwards, but I guess that's to protect everything in shipping. Uh, so that's it, the Fat HD with the famous Bafang BBH H BBS HD motor, the 500C motor controller or uh, display here. So far, it has been I haven't seen it in direct sunlight yet, but it's not bad. The display is easy to understand. Lots of uh, critical readouts. There is a hepatic feedback, that little bit of vibration when you change certain settings. Uh, it made me a little nervous at first, but again, it's something you got used to pretty quickly. Uh, as far as the light and the, the phone holder, these are pretty standard for me. I put them on pretty much any bike, including uh, the famous Hotshot Pro rear light. Love that thing. Super bright. Can't miss it even in the brightest of days. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped you make a decision on the Fat HD BBS HD Bafang motor driven fat tire e-bike.